Good evening, and this is another one of my updates, and today is an interesting one. You know why? I don't know when the last time was, maybe July of 2019, that I actually crossed the border into the United States. And uh, guess what? Today, I went to the United States, albeit just for a little while. In fact, I was longer at the customs office uh, in coming into Canada than I was in the United States. My son-in-law, Kevin Lowen, is a fisherman, and he had some fishing equipment that needed picking up on the other side of the border. Well, I did my homework yesterday, today, right up until the time I left to make sure I had all my ducks lined up, everything in the right roll, <laughs> making sure it was all ticked off. I even thought I did the Arrive Can app correctly. Well, I had no problem getting to the American side, showed my vaccination card, showed my passport, and went over to the parcel barn. Used to be Connie's. Well, lovely lady was able to get the four, three, six parcels, I believe. They weren't all as big as some of them were. But I got it into the car and drove up merrily to the customs office on the Canadian side. Well, I waited my turn. And once I got to be my turn, well, they tell me, to make a long story short, because it took about an hour, and I'm not going to do an hour podcast. My wife's watching in the back. I can see it. So I better keep it short. That's, that's how she liked them. Well, I uh, made one boo-boo. When I completed, I thought, my Arrive Can app. I uh, put in the wrong picture. I put a picture of the code, and now when I look back, it seems a little silly. It was silly. And uh, so when I arrived at the customs office, a young lady uh, came to my car, and, and uh, when she told me about where is this particular piece of paper or... Uh, Indication and all it was very important, or I might still be sitting there camping out in the bush. All it was was the record of my vaccinations, the dates, and the kind of vaccines that I received. And this isn't about vaccinations, and if you want to comment about that, please don't. This is about having a good day made better. By who? By three customs officers. They made my time there, you know what, meaningful. I learned a whole bunch of things. And I missed out, instead of putting in the code, I should have put in that little piece, taken a packed picture, just a screenshot of the dates, and the kinds of vaccines, and I would have been good to go. Well, I hadn't. And the next step in this was my daughter, Laurel. <laughs> it was her husband's fishing gear I was picking up, and so I was able to get Laurel on the phone. And after about 30 minutes, she was able to get into create a new account so that she could get at my information. And once she could get at my information, she could take a screenshot. And uh, once I had it in my phone and I gave it over to the customs officer, all was well. And I know what Laurel said. Dad, you were absolutely fortunate that you had kind customs officers. And I'm not here to pick on customs officers. For the most part, most of them are just plain doing their job. But these people, the three, 
they went up and above. Yes, they were firm. They stuck with the rules. They didn't say, okay, you can go, which I was hoping to. In fact, I made it a little more difficult than I actually should have. But at the same time, they treated me fairly, kindly, professionally, and even with compassion. My hats off to the three customs officers at the Canadian side of the Walhalla Winkler crossing. And uh, here I am, alive and well to tell it. And uh, had I not been able to produce that, and I knew we could if we could just get into the website and get the things. We had to make passwords and she had to create my account and uh, we were able to get that information. Yes, it was rather difficult yesterday trying to get somebody on the phone, somebody to talk to. But again, my daughter has a neighbor who works for the customs office. And she went to see him and he laid it out in detail what I needed. And I thought I had it all. But I did it for two reasons. And yes, I don't get nervous very often when it comes to those kinds of things. But I was nervous going back into the United States. I wasn't so much nervous about entering the U.S., but I was nervous coming back. And I guess I had a reason. But I had a couple of real good prayer warriors that were praying for me as I was cross crossing the customs. And God is great. God answers prayer because I learned a valuable lesson. I think I now will be able to update it so that I can get back into the U.S. again for another short trip. Be back within 72 hours and to make sure. So if you're planning on going to the United States, make sure you have that arrived can filled out, double check, make sure you have the dates and the kinds of vaccines you have so that they can see and have their proof that you're actually vaccinated and you're not just carrying somebody else's card. Well, that's uh, more or less of what I had to share today. There's a lot of other things that are going on. You know, I, uh, I just want to say we need to continue to be in prayer. And if we can help the people in British Columbia. I had a colleague of mine go there to uh, see some clients. These are pig producers. And he shared on the WhatsApp group about how difficult it is. One particular feeder barn, finisher barn, I should say, hog barn. He showed the picture and the water was up at almost close to the windows. 14,000 pigs succumbed at that particular place, drowned. And then he went over to another one, 850 sow pharaoh to finish operation, all drowned. And then he says, in some cases with the dairies, this isn't all. And yes, I'm picking the ones that he talked about. But these are the ones that left the real impression upon him. Then he says, with the dairy cows up to water, up to their noses, hard to breathe, just really in, in absolute agony, pain, and fear, I'm sure. He says all they can do is ride by on their boats and take their lives and take them out of their misery, shoot them. That's what they had to do in many cases. So now we have 14,000 carcasses, and there's an awful lot more chickens, turkeys, you name it dogs and donkeys, I don't know, what else? And all of this has to be cleaned up by somebody. And that particular job, yes, there's insurance for some of it. There's replacement value, which doesn't take into consideration the business loss, unless you may have some kind of a business insurance. But that isn't what I'm talking about here. That is replaceable. But at the same time, 
having to clean up that mess and to dispose of it under, under today's restrictions and rules and regulations, it won't be fun to say the least. So ask and covet your prayers for the farming industry. And it's not just the farming industry. I remember going to Merritt, British Columbia, stopping at the Starbucks many, many times with my late wife, Judy. I even stopped there several times in 2018 and again 2020. I have no idea in what kind of shape that's in at the moment. But I know I saw some of the pictures and it was underwater. At least filled with water. So, as John put it, who shared these stories on WhatsApp, he says, you know, we sometimes grumble and complain and think we have it pretty tough. And yes, I'm not belittling that. There are a lot of, a lot of very uh, tough situations that people have to go through. But so are they in a difficult position. So I just wanted to share this evening, and I do hope and pray that you're going to have a positive night, meaning a good sleep and a good rest, because I normally do, even though I get up a few times at night to take care of matters, but at the same time, I still have a good sleep. And I'm in that age, <laughs> I don't know if it has anything to do with age a little bit, I guess, that uh, I'm beginning to enjoy what some people have enjoyed maybe for 15, 20 years when they retired. But I am enjoying it differently. I'm also enjoying the time as far as the relaxation is concerned. So I just uh, want to say thanks for watching. And somewhere, sometime, somehow, I will see you again. And God bless.